and they sent on their way. Desert Wisdom was awkward off the mark. Ben Doog, ridden, gets to the lead. Secret Victory got a good beginning. Then comes Algiers at the outside. Desert Wisdom barges away from near the back of the field to get handy, and that shoves Algiers into a deeper than ideal position. Remorse sits just off the pace in the gold. First Constitution, a length away to military law. Then comes Salute the Soldier, who's won from last, and Atletico El Colano switched off at the back of the field as they make their way towards the final 1,400 metres. Ben Doog is in front, fended off the challenge of Desert Wisdom and the Two Shades of Green, who stuck out in no man's land, sharing second with Secret Victory back against the rail. Here we go a length away to Remorse, who's in the gold. Algiers had no luck, forced to take his medicine and races out deep with first constitution for company. Salute the soldier. Races in about seventh place, but only four lengths off the leader. A length back to military law and Atletico El Colano is the trailer as they head towards the corner of the track. Little over 800 metres left to run. Bendu, yellow sleeves and red cap has pressure either side. Secret victory took the shortcut and Desert Wisdom took the scenic route. Then comes Algiers, who's forced to improve at the outside now a length and a half behind the leader remorse goes well enough then salute the soldier first constitution off the bridle so to his military lord let's go El Colano goes past those two and now they swing for home in round two of the El Maktoum challenge Ben Du guides them in with secret victory right there and Algiers at their outside tightens up and commits and goes for gold then comes Remorse who races away in fourth salute the soldier was next Algiers in a matter of strides has shot clear shot three lanes clear Ben Du no chance Remorse no chance secret victory no chance round one of the El Maktoum challenge tick round two of the El Maktoum challenge big tick Algiers wins convincingly Ben Dugran second third goes the way of remorse then came secret victory in fourth salute the soldier was next with Atletico El Colano then came desert wisdom further back military law and first constitution Wow, what a performance from Al Giz. Six lengths he wins the round two of the Al Maktoum Challenge, backing up the impressive victory last time out in January. And this horse is seriously going places fast. Eight to 13 favourite for James Doyle, Simon and Ed Crisford, and owner Hamad Sultan Al Ashabushi. Well done to the team. Second, Ben Doog at nine to one. Third, Remorse at five to one. Well, that was mightily impressive. Let's go. Back to Maidan and see what James Doyle, jockey on board Algiers, had to, had to say about it. Once again emphatic, James, wow, that was, um, this fella's becoming box office, just talk us through that. It was pretty good, wasn't it? I mean, I have to say things, I knew it was going to be a tricky race to ride. I didn't, it's the furthest he's ran on dirt to be fair, I mean he, he did have one spin up the hill at Jebel Ali and he didn't look like he saw it out, but obviously yeah. different conditions. But we just wanted to learn things today, so we thought we didn't really want to ride him that aggressively. Uh, but he broke so well, it was almost like I could have took up the lead and dictated, but I chose to come back a little bit. Then one sort of pushed up my inner, kept me out wide, and then he jumped into the bridle and just over-raced throughout. Uh, so the fact he's achieved what he's done off the back of all that, not being in a rhythm, rhythm at any stage in the race, has to show he's got a serious engine. Um. I understand on the international markets he's been shortened everywhere and in fact might be favourite in a place. That is one announcement to the world stage that wherever they're coming from they're going to have to go some to beat this fella in the World Cup, aren't they? Should that be the route, of course? Well, this is the best that we have in, in the UAE and um, he's, he's given them a thrashing over you know, two different trips. He showed there that he clearly stays this distance and... It's exciting, isn't it? Whichever, I'm sure it opens up, you win that well, the, this type of race, it opens up options, doesn't it? Whether it be here or Saudi or both, yeah? I haven't got your best uh, horses at the top of the, the brain here, but um, of those that you have ridden, how does he compare? I haven't, uh, I have to say, I haven't ridden too many good dirt horses, to be honest, so um, he's certainly given me a feel on dirt that I haven't experienced before, and especially to do little things wrong and still win like that, he's, he's pretty good. Well done. Thank you.